Uh, hello. It's me as always. With another unboxing video for you. So let's unbox this thing. Now let's do it. Yeah. Unbox it. Uh, unbox this. Uh. I already know where the package is from. It's from Iffy Store. Where I probably get iffystore.com where I get most of my limited editions. I put a link to it in the description. And I'm always hopeful that they send me the right package, but I don't know what's in the box until I open it up. And most likely, it's probably what it's, it's probably what I ordered and spent so much money on. Ooh, look! Ooh, look! Plastic! Ooh, look! Real plastic, eh? Yeah. Real plastic. I wonder what could be inside. Yoink! Wrapped wrapped up just like a Christmas present. Let's see. We don't need the box on the table. We just want to put stuff in, so we can go off the side. Go off the side. Gee, it has something to do with Day Are Alive. Uh, what try to unbox first? I'm gonna box whatever this is in my hand. I'm gonna box whatever this is. I'm gonna open up whatever this is in my hand. <laughs> that should be that should be the video thumbnail right there. I'm so tempted to just make that the video thumbnail. But I don't have time to take pictures of it. I just gotta just open it up right now. It's something wrapped up. Wrapped up. This is really big, so I might step back so I can get an idea what it is. A little plastic insert. So it appears to be a. It appears to be a casing for a body pillow. You have her on this side, you have her on this side, and you have, I think that's Toka on the other side, I think that's Toka. Yeah, I watched the Date Our Life anime long before there was a, long before I knew about the visual novel. I think that's Toka. Then again, no, yeah, it looks like Toka, it looks like Toka, it looks like one of the characters. I definitely recognize her, it probably says, it probably says her name. And it has a cool Date Our Life logo. It doesn't even tell you who the character is. Well, this is... Well, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Well, that was nice. It looks like something I could wrap on my bed. I don't think I was seriously ever sleep with something. Let's go with... Let's go with this. Whatever I picked up. It's Little Christmas Angel Girl. Hmm. Publisher by publisher by Carl White. Uh, Carl White is a bit. The people who own the rights to Dare Alive. It's a licensed visual novel. I I think I just heard about this game just by like heard about this game by reading by coming across I all things. The first I heard about this Dare Alive game by by coming across it on Twitter. I was going to Twitter and I heard that Idol Factory is going to make a day or a live visual novel. I think I got winded on there. Or... And I'm pretty sure this visual novel game won't feature any of the Funimation English voice acting. At first, I thought it was just going to be a normal video game, but then they specifically, the trader specifically said it was going to be a visual novel, not, not, a, not an art playing game, not a, a role playing game. But no. Speaking of visual novels, I like how I like how when most visual novels like Nekipa, like Nekipa, come out on the on the Switches eShop, they don't call them visual novels. They call them they call them they call them adventure platformers or interactive. But they really just should just they really should just categorize those games as visual novels. Here's the case. Hmm. You have this. I think that's a collector's 
I'm not sure. Let's just see what this is. It's a steel. It's a steel casing. Gee, I wonder what could be inside. I wonder what could be there. Okay, that right there is Toga. That right there is Toga. I'm 100% sure that is Toga. And the main, well, the main male character from the anime doesn't seem to be anywhere on the cover art. I forget his name. Yep, it's just an empty steel. It's just an empty steel case. Like what came with, like what came with Super Neptune RPG. It's like, I like these steel cases. They're great for carrying around games instead of like, it's still like the plastic. This is a steel case. You used to carry around anything a CD, a DVD, anything. Yeah, I think that was it. I think, no, I think that was no, I think that was it. Actually, there's still one more thing in here. One more thing in here. They are alive. The soundtrack. Yeah, this, yeah, this soundtrack is just kind of hard to put out of there. That's just like that's just like that's not it. That's, that's not it. Yeah. Oh, the official soundtrack. It probably just has OST's original, OST's OST's from the game's original background music. That was our V our VGM our VGM background music background music. That's including the actual game. I've been itching. I've been itching with anticipation. Uh, well, I didn't come over that. Well, I don't. I'm not doing the unboxing video just so I can just leave everything in its original packaging and everything out. Oh no, I can't get this small bit of plastic off. <laughs> I know I should just go I guess I should go in for the I should go in for the other side. I got to do surgery. Yeah, yeah, edit. Yeah, edit in a heart a heartbeat sound effect. You know one of those things, a pacemaker sound effect. Oh, it's just your heart. Ah, plastic. C D plastic, my one real weakness. Apparently I just can't seem to cut this off the knife. <sighs> I just think I'm going about it all wrong. You know, is I really in a hurry? I'll just screw I could just do this. Yeah, bite and just use my teeth to open up. This knife isn't working. I don't have a key in my back pocket. No, I don't think so, but this knife. This, this is working. Is that? Is that? Oh no, not again! Run! I've been playing too much Borderlands. Uh, speaking of which, I wonder if Borderlands 3 have a big limit, a uh, big... I wonder if it would be, would there be a special limited collector's edition of Borderlands 3 that comes with, you know, Borderlands 3, the game. Soundtrack and all that fun stuff. Yeah, you can kind of tell. I'm excited for Borderlands 3. I, I mean, I have played Borderlands pre sequel and in the original. I played the first Borderlands game I played was Borderlands on the X, on the, was on Xbox 360. That's the first version of Borderlands I actually played. There you have the cover art and all this. Yeah, this just going on about this being nostalgic about Borderlands. And you have the CD, the official soundtrack. No, there's nothing behind there. There's nothing behind. There is nothing behind in that cover art. Well, put that back in its case. Not for resale. Do do not resell this. Yeah, look this up. Find the CD on eBay. Probably just do what I do with all my CDs. Rip it to MP3. Just rip, just rip the songs off here, the mp3 format, just copy the, just copy the song, just copy the music file off. And I think there's one more thing in here, I think it's the official art, art book. Yep. I need to work on one more thing in here. 
Dun 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 dun. Vizzy. Yep, and that's officially that's officially empty. Yep, it's an official art book. So why do I buy limited editions? Because well, one you can't afford them. Sometimes it's it's fun to get more than a game. So, you know, sometimes it's all right to have to be if you had the money to buy a limited edition of a game and you know it's coming, buy it. If you can't afford it, if you can't afford a limited edition, then don't buy it because I get it. Everybody doesn't have the money to buy a limited edition, and sometimes just buying the game by itself is just better. I'm showing off the art, but like I always do. What, you expect me not to show it off? Not to grace you with the presents, I mean? Somebody had to draw this again and again and again. Burn the puppet. I don't know, I'm just being sadistic. We know her, she was on the pillowcasing. I forget her name. Gee, I wonder what her name could be. I forget. The only character I always recognize is. I never. I, why can't. Why can't every time I do. Every time I look at the Daylight -like characters, I don't recognize her. I recognize her from the anime. You see her in episode one. She pretends to be her, she pretends to be the main character's little sister. Then she gets scared to T virus. Then you find out that she's the captain. Of, and she's a and she's a, she's a fleet captain of the ship in episode one. They are alive. They are alive. The anime has three seasons at this point. I believe the characters are spirits, and when they I believe according to the anime, the characters are spirits, and when they. When spirits crawl into their world, they cause lots of damage and devastation. They cause lots of they cause lots of damage, but I don't think that's intentional. I think that's just a side effect for them teleporting in. I think it's mostly just by accident. I think it's more of this not really intentional thing. Big brother, I love you. I haven't seen Toka yet. Interesting. I haven't seen Toka. Hmm. I'm not sure, but maybe she might appear in the anime. I think there's one key character. There's one key character who never shows up, who was never in the anime. He's only exclusive to the visual novel, her. She was never, this character was never in any of the seasons of Dead or Alive. Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. She's only unique to this visual novel. Well, that's Toka. Hey, look, black and uh, black and white post sketches. Oh, lots of sketches. You like pencil art? You like seeing what everybody had to draw over and over again? I do. That's why I like. That's why I like showing off some of the art in the art book. It's just stuff people had to draw and conceptualize and and draw again and again and again and draw. Hooray! That's a cool drawing with lots of detail to it. You know, these drawings remind me of a light novel. I think there's just lots of I think there's just lots of information about this. Oh, if you're trying to really read all this, I'm probably going way too fast. It's like they put a light novel in here, I swear. I'm looking at a light novel upside down because I got it so the camera can see it and I'm just looking downward. I'm looking down holding the book on my stomach. Well, you guys can see it. No, don't seem to be much. 